Look, man, so I put out the um, vid out there and I'm so happy for the response that I had for the people who sent in the videos to do Dudes and Bricks of the Week. Completely amazing. I was amazed. I was laughing my face off. And I just loved the way in which people broke down the things that I gave up them. It just shows that the football hot has the best crew, the best squad in the entire world. So yeah, man. So I put a little thing together from what the people um, brought in. So hopefully you guys can watch it and especially be inspired so that next week you can then put in your own videos next week and send them to me. But just to reiterate, make sure that the videos are no longer than one minute. Keep it brief and ensure that it is no longer than one, one minute because the briefer it is, the easier it is for me to edit. So make sure that it's brief, no longer than, than a minute. Those dudes, that dude, break, those bricks, and a game of the week. So do all those things. Make sure it's a minute, maximum a minute and a half, and then I'll be able to edit it Um well, so yes, yeah, so without further ado, here are the dudes and the bricks of the week from the fans of the Football Hots. Enjoy. Peace. That dude of the week for me, as a Barca fan myself, has to be Dembele. So for dude of the week, I picked uh, Diogo Jota. All right, that dude of the week goes to Diego Jota from Wolves. Dude of the week. That dude of the week. Or should I say that man of the week for this one. Easily modish. And Dembele has absolutely blown any of the preconceived, imagined um, heights that I could have ever dreamed of for Barcelona player. And he did all of that on the weekend without Messi on the pitch. That was Barcelona without Messi. He made, probably broke the record for most dribbles in a, time, in a short time frame. Correct me if I'm wrong, but for me, Dembele has got to be that dude of the week. I was going to give it to Dembele, but I felt Diogo had a much better and much more impactful game, considering that he scored a hat-trick against Leicester City and game clutch. So definitely, Diogo gets dude of the week for me. He scored a hat-trick in uh, their 4-3 win over Leicester. He became the second Portuguese player to score a hat-trick since Cristiano Ronaldo in the, in the Premier League. I didn't give him that dude of the week because of just him scoring two consecutive goals, playing after he got knocked out, anything like that. I, I want to look at the bigger picture. He's getting hungry. He's getting back in the prime. You know, he's back to the la creme de la... I don't know, how, however you say it. I don't speak French. And those dudes of the week has got to be Liverpool. They are pulling off the two flex. They won big at home when it mattered most. Man City had put on the pressure and Crystal Palace was the... They took points of Man City. They scored three goals in the, in the crib of Liverpool and still didn't get the win. So at this point, I'm starting to believe that Liverpool might actually win the title. Uh, due to the week, I say Arsenal because Arsenal had a fantastic game. They had a they they kept a clean sheet and they kept a Hazard and other and the other players at basically at bay and also shout out to uh, Kalshelny for getting the goal and just having a man of the match performance. And those dudes of the week goes to uh, the French women's national team. They beat the U.S. women three to one on Saturday in a friendly. And uh, these two teams are the top contenders for the women's World Cup that's being held this summer in France. So that's a big win for the French national team. Now, on to the brick of the week. And well, it, it's, it has to be Llorente. Llorente is, as you said yourself, he's a tree. And I have no other words to... Well, Tottenham really need Harry Kane. They really need Harry Kane. He's really static, no forward runs. He isn't confident on the ball. And it's not just now. He's supposed to be a veteran. He didn't just start playing football today. It's got to be Lorente. He is shocking. We brought him in to fill in Kane's boots and our midfield had to do his job. Everything bounces off the guy. He can't head the ball. He can't shoot the ball. Spurs just need to release him and get him out of the club. And the brick of the week goes to Andy Carroll from West Ham. This dude hasn't scored in almost a year. 
And he missed the sitter from three yards out against Bournemouth over the weekend. Yeah, he needs to get together. Uh, brick of the week. Sorry, in my opinion. Even though Llorente was a, had a bad game, Sorry was just... His tactics were bad. His, like, everything everything just did not go well. Like, his his uh, his position, the, fall, the false nine, does not suit players like Hazard and Conte. And for that, he gets brick of the week for me. Brick of the week. <laughs> Normally, brick of the week would be just one person. But this time, I want to say a whole team. Brick of the week. Most of the Chelsea, Chelsea club, Chelsea team, especially Maurizio Sarri. You, you're the first offender of the how to not be a brick rules. You keep playing Azar as a false nine, and why? Why would you do this? Why? He, you keep playing Azar as a false nine. You keep playing Jorginho. I mean, Jorginho, he has like 1,000 passes, but he has no assist. He has no efficiency whatsoever. And then finally, those bricks of the week. And sorry, HH boy, or double H boys got to be Chelsea. Chelsea, it's, it's, it's back to things fall apart for Chelsea. And it started off well on the Sari, but now it's all unraveling and and Hazard has got to do everything the team. And now it's too much for Hazard. And at this point, I won't be shocked if he moves away to, to Real Madrid. Uh, Bricks of the week, I have to say, Gwyn Gamp. So if you don't know, uh, Gwyn Gamp conceded nine goals against PSG to, that last weekend. So, yeah... From the words of HH, they got baptized, they got like extinct. So they're, they just got eviscerated. Like, conceding nine goals is beyond what a professional football team should do. So, yeah, Gwingam, definitely Bricks of the Week. The Bricks of the Week goes to Gwen Gap. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, from France. They lost 9 0 to PSG in Paris on Saturday. They need to show some pride because after the third or fourth goal, I'll just start injuring players. And then uh, game of the week, uh, Wolves versus the Leicester, I thought was a fantastic game. Full of energy, full of just drama. It was a fantastic display from both teams, specifically from Wolverhampton for getting back and just, you know, Yoko Hota again, just coming clutch. And yeah. But the match of the week. Now, I may be a Premier League enthusiast a bit too much, but come on. That Liverpool and Crystal Palace game, beautiful, beautiful football. It was really interesting. It had everything. It had kind of a bit of attention, but at this point, Liverpool knows how to win these kind of games. Sadio Mane knows how to win these kind of games. You feel me? Salah knows how to win these kind of games. So those are my picks for dudes and bricks of the week. And yeah, have a good one. <laughs> That's all for me. Hope to see my video in there somewhere. All the best. I'll keep watching HH. Double H. So that's it. Peace. And shout out to my friend, Have Hope for Boha. Um, enjoy your videos a lot. And see you next week, maybe. Bye bye. Goodbye.